Hello folks and welcome back and uh, today we're doing all sorts of different things. We're going to be pulling a lot of stuff out of the garage because I need to start measuring where things are going like water tanks, mattresses, whatnot. And Ella has come along to do what can only be the most satisfying job in the world. Unwrap a memory foam mattress. Come on Elle, can you do it? If you're new here, I'm Aidy, single dad to my twins, John and Ella. We're home educating and living life our way. Years ago, I worked as an underwater cameraman in Thailand where I met their mom. We tragically lost her at the birth in Bangkok, but our journey wasn't about to stop there. We're now converting our big van, a Mercedes Sprinter, getting ready for new adventures across Europe and beyond. Join us as we build, explore, and live our lives to the full. So somehow, somewhere, there's an easy way to get into that and it'll start expanding. But oh, she's in. It's that bit in the middle, I think. Oh, you got it. All right, that's it. And that is gonna slowly grow into Ella's mattress for the van. It wasn't as impressive as I thought it would be. It's obviously just gonna slowly expand. Sorry. Okay, bye. She clearly wasn't as impressed as I thought she'd be. That's gonna take its time to grow, I think. All right, onward and upward. We're gonna clear out the back of the garage and we're gonna to get to the water tank so we can size that up as well. So obviously we've got battens here, which are for battening out the van. We have got all sorts. We've got a toilet. Oh, we'll show you that later. Bathroom door, van ramps, boiler. We've got electrical goods, a fridge, a washer, water tanks, cooker. We need to get this organized, don't we, mister? Yep. All right, so I've got to concentrate on one thing at a time. Do you know what? I've been dreading this day for some reason. I've realized that I've sort of procrastinated a little bit about this figuring things out stage because it's, it's integral. Everything is so important here when it comes down to putting some battens in and building things. And it's, it's fairly unchangeable. I mean, of course it's changeable, it's wood, but fairly unchangeable, like I don't want to have to do it again. Um, I've been getting sidetracked with this water tank, which I did need to know some things about it. I think the most important thing is figuring out how this bathroom's gonna be before I think about the battening and this other bed. I'm gonna measure this, get some tape on the floor, then I've got to think about my materials, go and get my materials. And then I guess this video is gonna become about building a shower, or at least a shower cubicle. It's the following day now, and we've been to get supplies. We've got nine mil ply and we've got some stud wood over there and we're going to start building the, uh, the stud wall for this bathroom. I think what we're going to do, get you sat over there where you can see me working, I'm going to start, I'm going to get my chop saw out and I'm going to start lopping off chunks of this wood and we're going to get a carcass up and we're going to get it up fairly quickly. It's a bit late in the day, Otis and SJ are leaving today, they're heading away so they're packing up their van, it's already past lunchtime so I'm only really going to get a few hours working. So let's see what we can do. Um, and then we'll bash on with it next week, but I'm gonna get it done in this video. Mostly, mostly done. Let's go. You're gonna hold this. And I kind of know what I need to know is whether or not. That's it. 
fix the view, I reckon. The door is literally a tiny little thing there, and it'll be lower down, done. <laughs> so I can make this, I'll fix these together. So you can bring me that piece out, please. Right, we'll just take a quick break from work because, uh, check this out, these guys are leaving. We're off skis. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a blast. Yeah. They're leaving, they've been here for ages, they've become family. We're like, uh, it's going to be weird to see them go now, but off they pop. They're heading off back down south, but they will be back and we're going to be meeting up with them in Europe again and again, I'm sure. Let's say bye. Bye! See you later! Ah, <laughs> oh, you too! Absolutely blooming delightful humans. Right, back to it! So, very quickly, this thing takes shape. It only takes a few lumps of wood to do that. Um, there's no way to level anything in this van, as you would expect, because nothing's level and the van's not level. So what we've been doing is, you might have noticed if you saw it in the time lapse, we've been squaring it and squaring it and squaring it from the floor. The floor is the only flat thing we've got to work from. So these are squared off that and squared off each other and square, square, square. So now I'm going to focus on building probably another upright here and go, uh, doing a 90 degree across there so we can get a bit of structure there. And essentially, I'm just going to keep adding bits. <laughs> I've built lots of stud walls, being in the line of work I used to be in, but never one quite so small as this and on curved walls. So we'll just keep adding bits until we feel like we don't need to add any more. With a van, it's always a careful balance of, I want it to be strong and not fall apart as you're bouncing over rough dirt tracks and stuff like that. But you also don't want to add too much weight and add far too many pieces of wood to the van. But like I say, I'm going to be upplating this thing anyway because I know I'm going to be overweight. I know some of the big things I've got going in here. It's not worth the risk. Okay, let's do it. fantastic that's a pretty good start that makes me very very happy look at that oh it's nice to be building something it really is i know we've already built this but this is something major in the van that's been in here for ages trying to get out <laughs> right we need to have a tidy up clearly and then um because it's getting autumny wintry time here it's just getting dark early. It's only, it's not even four o'clock, but I need to go to the shops and grab something to eat anyway for tonight. So I think we'll be calling it quits for tonight, but that is a really good start. I'm very, very happy. Sunday tomorrow, probably gonna try and force myself to have a bit of a rest, especially now Otis and SJ have left. I think I just need a day of putting my feet up and just chilling out. And then come next week, boom, boom. 
Let's get this thing done, eh? Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, and I didn't take a day off on Sunday like I try to sometimes. Got a lot more energy these days, or trying to have. <laughs> Maybe I'm just fooling myself. <laughs> Um, I did do a few bits of tinkering. I will show you what I tinkered on in a minute. But obviously the video came out on last Saturday and lots of comments have come in. And I'd like to try and address a couple of those for you people out there, you lovely subscribers. First of all, there's a few people who are very interested in more detail in what it is I'm doing. And we have talked about this in the past and I try to add detail when I can. But as you all well know, I am just desperately trying to get done as quick as possible so I can get away from here and stop paying rent and all the astronomical cost of living in the UK because I'm not working and my, run, my money's running out. And when we set off, I'm not going to have much to survive on. And uh, everything comes down to these videos and I'm going to have a lot more time for those once I've done the van and we're off. <laughs> so I'll talk to you more about that in a minute. But I've had a couple of subscribers asking about more bits of information. So one in particular that stands out in my mind Someone was asking about this cupboard, because as they say, the night elves came and did it without you guys seeing it. I didn't film it. And they were curious about these hinges. So that is for you. You can see there, I've got about two or three mil gap there. And that's about a nine to 10 mil gap there. Now that was from looking at, uh, oh, and also make sure you get the hinge the correct way round. There you go, take a screenshot. <laughs> That was from looking at Otis and SJ's uh, in their van and then adapting it, tweaking it for mine so it would work. I didn't film it. As you know, the Pixies came and did that in the middle of the night. These are the things that helped me get on quickly. Speaking of which, this is what I was tinkering. This is one of the jobs I was tinkering with yesterday, was doing some trimmings here. So in the last video, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys will have seen that going in. What I have now done is put a box on there this little bit here is to fit around this door stopper. Now, some people take that off completely so it doesn't interfere with things like this, but as it is, I only needed them little noggins and it fits perfectly. I put these on, beautiful trim pieces, and that's kind of dictated a little bit where the kitchen's going to come to. I was doing a lot of measuring for my kitchen yesterday, but that's a nice step through up there. I'll probably have some sort of doormat go on there, but that comes later. I obviously also stuck that on. That also might have doormat there. I don't know. This is a very cute little uh, LED light there, which will run through to here. It will have another one opposing from this side when it's done. So then that will continue on and through, and there's going to be a few poking out underneath. So that's one of the jobs I did on Sunday, yesterday. And the other one, because it was cold, I just got myself cozy in the house here. That is my humongous 155 litre water tank. And what I was doing is I just put a movie on and I've been attaching things like, that's my uh, depth sensor. I've been attaching my inlet pipe there. I put a new inspection cover on it because the one that came with the tank was really high and this has got a squeeze under Ella's bed. And that's the air vent for when you fill in the tank or empty in the tank, obviously air needs to escape or enter as you're putting water in or taking water out. Then there was one other thing I was wanting to talk to you guys. Sorry, I haven't spoke to the camera in a day, so I've got loads to say, haven't I? Obviously. One thing I really wanted to talk to you guys about, and it occurred to me when, if you remember in last week's video, I said that about 48% of people watching these videos are not subscribed. Now it's up to you, do what you want with your life. You can watch these videos for free. They don't cost you anything, go for it. I do it for myself, for the kids, for, the, for our future, uh, like memories. And also, yeah, it's starting to pay a little bit of money and this is gonna be contributing massively towards how I feed the children and how we survive when we start traveling across Europe. So of course I want it to grow. But anyway, that's by the by. We've got a regular delivery driver comes around here, dropping off various bits for the van. And he's very interested and he comes in, always chats and has a look. And he didn't realize the subscribe is free. He seemed to think you had to pay to subscribe on YouTube. And now it makes me realize, I know there's lots of you out there that watch YouTube religiously. I do, it's all I ever watch is YouTube. And I pay for the premium because then I don't have to watch adverts. I get all my information through there and all my entertainment. And I just love watching people's real lives and uh, just real stuff going on rather than the contrived stuff that's on mainstream TV. Let's not go down that road, shall we? At the end of the day, there's also hundreds, thousands of people who come and dabble with YouTube and have no idea what the subscribe button means and what the like button means and stuff like that. So I'm here to enlighten you. I'll keep this brief, I promise, because we need to get back on with that bathroom, don't we? The subscribe button is completely free. Just press it. You have to have an account 
with YouTube, obviously. And then the beauty of this, for those who don't know, means when you log back into YouTube to watch some stuff, it shows you my videos, other people's videos that you subscribe to. It's not just going to show you a load of random nonsense. It's going to show you the stuff that you want to see. And then the other thing is the like button. If you hit the like button, it tells the algorithms, this wonderful AI technology that's running YouTube these days, that you like the video. If you watch the video and don't press the button or subscribe or anything like that, it thinks you've watched it and not liked it. So therefore, YouTube doesn't push it out to a wider audience. Whereas if you do hit the like button or add a comment or something that you'd like to tell me about what we're doing, or my beard, I don't care. Then YouTube thinks, oh, people are interacting and they like this video. They like what this guy's doing. And then it thinks, oh, I'll push it out to a wider audience. And that's what happens. Then we get more people in, more subscribers, so on and so forth. More subscribers means more ad revenue, which means we can feed the children. <laughs> Sorry, joking. That wasn't a guilt trip. That was just to clear up some misconceptions people seem to have. So hit the subscribe, hit the like, if you don't mind. It costs you nothing and it helps us loads because it is a full-time job. I'm sure there's lots of people out there who think we just record stuff and put it on YouTube. It doesn't work like that. It's a constant. You are constantly thinking about the camera. Everything you do takes twice as long because you've got to set cameras up and repeat it a few times to get it right for the camera. And it just becomes your life. You just don't do anything without thinking, oh, I've got to film it. Which is why I make such a big deal about telling you guys when I'm not going to film stuff because I need to get on with work. So yeah, anyway, that's enough waffle biloffle there. I'm going to get on with this. I'm sorry it's lots of time lapse. I've got to get on with the work. <laughs> so what we'll do is John's coming out to help me in a minute. This is looking like a really, really long morning chit chat. I do apologize. John and I are going to crack on with that. We're setting up the workshop now and uh, yeah, enjoy the music. Let's do some time lapse. For those of you who like to know what's going on and how we're doing things, which I should stress, by the way, is not necessarily the correct way. This is one of the most annoying things about building the van. I think I said it in the last video, or maybe even earlier in this one. There's no definite 100% way of this is the way to do things. You're just kind of making it up as you go along and taking ideas from different places anyway. Feel free to take ideas from me. They're just not the right way. Disclaimer. <laughs> so... We've got this structure looking good. It's very solid, apart from it moves this way. That's not fixed yet because there's nothing to fix to. Um, but what we're going to be doing is putting some battens across the back here. They will fix to the wall and then this will fix to them. And it'll all square up and become very, very solid and it will be awesome. But we've just been debating about what to actually use for battens. Like I say, there's so many different ways of doing things. I was originally going to run battens right down the length of the van, which I know some people do, but they're 25 millimeter battens that we're using, which is another story altogether. I don't know if I'm going too thick with them. I'm kind of regretting getting them, but I want to get for moving forward with this. So that's more important. Anyway, I think they would have protruded too far in the bathroom. Then once you put your plywood on and the PVC waterproofing, you just start to lose wall space it keeps creeping in on you and this bathroom which is already you know quite pokey is going to get smaller very rapidly so every millimeter counts so what i've gone with is some 18 mil plywood that was kicking around in the back of the garage i've cut it down into batten strips and we're going to fix that in and across there and so that way when we put the plywood on there our walls just that few little mil every millimeter counts so saying that I've bought nine millimetre plywood to skin this thing. And after looking at some other videos, it seems a lot of people use five mil. So I'm now second guessing myself, but I'm gonna have to go with it because I've got it sat there on the floor. I'm not driving all the way back to where I got it from to return it and swap it. I'm just gonna get on with it and get these walls up. Otherwise it's never gonna happen. And it's gonna cost me an awful lot more to stay here longer and pay more rent. So get this thing ready. Anyway, yeah, I've got a couple more of these to make. We'll pop these in and then to be perfectly honest 
Oh, I've got to cut the floor out, which I'll show you in a bit, but there's nothing to stop us putting the back wall up on there, which is quite an exciting thing. So we might just do that just because we can, and it'll be fun to see it up. Anyway, let's go and cut a few more of these. You don't need to see that. I'm just cutting strips of wood, and then we'll show you getting this fit in with yet more time lapses. Actually, before I put them battens in, I'm going to cut this out and get it out of the way. Now, I know it seems wasteful fitting this floor then cutting it out, but I wanted this floor to run underneath these walls because it would help fix it and hold it and it gives us a nicer edging. So that's the reason for doing that. So I will trim that out. I might even trim these odds and ends on the other side just to neaten things up. So uh, yeah, I'll quickly get that done and out of the way and then we'll look at getting these battens in, shall we? So there we go. We've actually had a little lunch break now, but uh, give you another look at this. So that couldn't have worked out better. These uh, have ended up falling exactly where I've got battens underneath. You can see I just offset these a little bit because I knew the batten under here was just a little bit over from where I had this. So it couldn't be better. They are fixed down rigid. Now then, I've got my battens to put up in there, get this thing squared up fully then there's no reason why we won't have a back wall on there today. I'm sure something will come up, but we're getting a back wall on there today. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Righty-o, righty-o, there we go, there we go. They're looking good, aren't they? So they are now holding it so rigid. That is not going anywhere. Um, I can't build the front bit of wall here yet until I've figured out the size of the, for the door, but I'll talk to you about all that when we're doing it. But right now, because it'll be impossible once the front's in, we're gonna cut the piece and put the back panel on. There it is, I've measured it up, ready to cut. How's the light in here? It's, um, what time are we on? It's only half past two, but it's coming sort of gray and dark here in the UK. I'm afraid this GoPro I'm using does not cope very well with dark, uh, well, bad light. It's, it's wonderful in the sunshine, but any other time it goes all grainy. Can't afford anything else, so sorry, you'll have to put up with it. Anyway, I'm gonna put this back skin on this today, and there's a very real possibility we might put some internal walls on it as well. I think we probably will put some internal walls on it as well. Let's cut this big sheet of wood for now. Radio, yeah, that's ready to go. Um, if you're wondering why I cut freehand rather than doing a perfect line, it just doesn't matter because the next piece of wood will be coming up and covering it up anyway. So when you're doing that on a job, it's just not, no point. So many people would try and put some sort of straight edge there and make a perfect cut. It don't matter. It just doesn't matter. Just get the job done quickly is more important right now. So let's see if this fits, shall we? our first wall in the van that's quite exciting i have also 
Being busy boshing together a cardboard template and scribing that into the wall over there, I'm going to transfer that to that sheet of ply. I'm going to cut that sheet of ply and then we will maybe fit that sheet of ply and then we'll call it a day. Um, that sheet of ply? Yes, sir, that sheet of ply. <laughs> yes, and I can't think. I'm obviously getting tired, so uh, I'm going to cut that and then we'll fit it and I'll speak to you in a bit. How about that? Got some light on the subject here there we go look at that and yeah we got carried away because look da -da -da -da, we did that side as well couldn't help myself because the uh, the template was the same so look at that oh that is mega 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 before i turn the lights off let's just get an ella reaction you know we love an ella reaction and here she comes the lady herself Another wow! We're getting more wows off you these days. I do like it. What do you reckon? Yeah. Go on in then, see how it fits you. Now to you, it's actually quite big, isn't it? <laughs> I, I only just fit in there. In height, yes. In... <laughs> Let me see. Do you approve? Yeah, yeah. Very good. Impressed with our work today? Yes, it smells woody. It smells woody. Uh, John just banged his head going in. Well done. <laughs> you fit all right. It's not bad for showering, though, is it? No. Not at all. <sighs> I think we got an approval. I think that's what that was. Anyway, we will see you in the morning. Bye bye for now. Hello, folks. Yes, it's the following day, but a little bit of a different start to this day. I'm going to end the video. Sorry about that if you were hoping for a bit more, but I think it's become long enough already. I've just looked at the footage on my computer and I think enough is enough. The shower build is going to move into a part two next week. We've already started playing with the timbre door, me and John, this morning a little bit. And just so we can get the sizing for the door here. Uh, but we'll tell you all about that in the next video. Now, I don't need to tell you about liking and subscribing anymore, do I? Because you've heard it all earlier in the video. So all I'll say is thank you so much for watching and watching it all the way to the end if you are still here with us. And we'll see you next week. Bye bye.